Welcome back, my dear Lightbulls, to another One Punch Man live reaction. In this one, we will be reacting to chapter 181 of One Punch Man Greatness, right? So, before I start the live reaction, it was so hilarious. I saw a clip or something on Twitter, not a clip, a, a manga panel from this chapter, and somebody was like, You see, Tatsumaki does wear panties, which I was like, Yes, she does, obviously, but it was in her chibi form, right? However, in her regular form where we see her, we see those cheeks, all right? <laughs> this is the funny part of the video, of this video, all right? And I do think she wears panties, right? Because the chibi form has it, but in her regular form... She's probably wearing some a thong or something. Let's just say that. But we're, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna dive too deep into that. We're, let's live react to the chapter. You know, we're we're not on uh, on another level now. All right, let's keep it PG. Let's keep it PG, guys. PG. All right. So in the cover page, we have Speedo Sonic, which is Saitama's rival or antagonist. Uh, one of Saitama's rivals, right? Even though this guy can't really rival Saitama, we saw him get punched in the balls before his sword broken by Saitama's bite attack from Pokemon. But yeah, it's really awesome that, um, I'm forgetting, uh, Murata actually drew Speed of Sonic in the cover, which is really awesome, titled uh, Scalp Friction. So I'm wondering if Speed of Sonic is going to show up in this chapter. Most likely he will because uh, I believe we got a Metal Bat cover and metal bash showed up in the chapter so it's always awesome seeing speedo sonic and his design looks really cool he's like speed ninja right pretty cool stuff okay i said cool, cool so many times all right let's start the, the reaction so we have three buildings all getting destroyed as tatsumaki is slamming saitama through the buildings we have sweet mass i believe that's his name there's so many heroes there's so many characters in this series sometimes i'm like ah it, it, am, am, am i actually uh, am I talking about the right person? Is this the right person? I, I believe it's Sweet Mask. It's a Sweet Ma Manga. Yeah, Sweet Mask. Why does the anime make Sweet Mask look like that? Wait, wait, what? In the anime, Sweet Mask, his, his facial features look different for some reason. I don't even remember Sweet Mask being in the anime, to tell you the truth. Maybe he just made a, a little glimpse. All right. Is that... Hey, we've gotten too far from our original location. Let's go back. So Saitama is yelling this to Tatsumaki, maybe because Saitama wants to be near his house. Uh, I don't know why. Probably he has video games to play or something else to do. Or maybe he has to cook some food. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So Tatsumaki levitating in the air. Cheeks out. Double cheeked out. You know, with the middle cover, like always, which is good. And... She's just looking down like with a look like, huh? Like a huh type look. And she literally goes down to ground level, says fine, and looks up at Saitama. So, Saitama is not that tall. And she still looks up at him. Let's see, Saitama height. Saitama is 5'9". Okay? So, Tatsumaki, let me, before I look it up. Tatsumaki might be 5'4". Let's see, Tatsumaki height. Tatsumaki height and Tatsumaki is oh no height I think she's like five I think Tatsumaki I like five something five foot something right or yeah because she's not that oh well, well no no she's wearing heels she's wearing like small heels too so that elevates her height but th th that's not important all right let's keep seeing okay so we got this cool pages with Tatsumaki looking up by Saitama. She says fine. And it's it's funny. People on Twitter are like, oh, they should just kiss already. They should just kiss. Me personally, yeah, they, sh they should just kiss. Like, the way she's looking up by Saitama. And Saitama's just confused. That went easier than I thought. All right, let's go. Hmm, the hero association was in this direction, right? And then Tatsumaki has this even derpier looking face. Grabs Saitama's bald head. And flings him down the building through his face. His face through the building. Okay, so I don't know if this is a reference 
it, it was one of the Broly films, right? Let's see. It, it was one of the Broly films. I can't put it on the screen because copyright. And I'm I'm not getting no more videos taken down on YouTube, okay? Uh, where Broly grabs somebody's face and sl just slams it through the building. So it, it could be a reference to that. It's the other direction. Oh, so Tatumaki got mad about Saitama saying it's in that direction. But still to do that. I'll help you get there. So she intends to still go there, but dealing a bunch of damage to him. Hey, isn't this bad for my scalp? Shut it. There's something chasing us. What? To be able to keep up with this movement speed must be a monster or a hero. Oh, snap. And we see the silhouette in the background. We see speed. Oh, Sonic. Oh, snap. My boy. Who? <laughs> well, it's so funny. I said speed of Sonic's uh, name. And then the next page, we, we actually see speed of Sonic running super fast. And... We just have this thing like, who, who's this? I knew that was him getting lethargically dragged around. No clue what's going on here, but it doesn't matter. Since I'm about to end your life. And then he just starts, boom, shuriken, shuriken. He doesn't say that, so he just throws a bunch of shuriken. Homing, oh, they explode too. Homing, exploding shuriken. All right. It's impossible to outrun all these high-speed tracking shurikens. Now, who made these shurikens? Because these are some high-tech stuff. They're not your normal shuriken. You put, like, maybe some explosive. I don't even know how you make explosive powder or something on it and then just throw it. They, these things are homing missiles, shurikens, which is interesting. I, I like that concept. Homing exploding shuriken. It's impossible to outrun all these high-speed tracking shurikens. Get lost. Beep. And then Tatsumaki just... Oh, Tatsumaki sent them back to Speedo Sonic. And now their trajectory is towards Speedo Sonic. So, Speedo Sonic is very fast, was able to keep up with Tatsumaki dragging Saitama around. Tatsumaki has insane speed, but we don't know Speedo Sonic is like, uh, I guess, Bur Birder from Dragon Ball. You, you know, a very fast character. Let's see what he's going to do about it. Uh, right. Because he said. It's impossible to outrun all these high-speed tracking shurikens. So he probably could dodge some of them, but maybe one of them will hit them. Let's see. Okay, he's doing like Neo in the Matrix dodging them. Okay, he's still dodging them. Really fast, dirty little tricks. So he's he he's he's dodging so fast, he's creating after images, which is awesome to see. Oh no! Why in the next panel a dog takes a poop? And Speedo Sonic's foot splashes on it. Oh, come on. And he's slipping. Huh? My foot slipped. Damn you, Saitama. That's not even Saitama. That's your own fault for throwing exploding shurikens and then not knowing that that's an S rank hero with Saitama dragging his, his scalp through the floor named Tatsumaki. Oh, we're back. All right, so Saitama gets up. Let's see. Yeah, he gets up. Tatsumaki's going flying a little bit. Right then, feel free to start rampaging again. Rampaging again. So they literally got back to where they were. And it looks like seconds. Let's say a minute. That was really fast. So Tatsumaki is insanely fast, which is awesome. And, you know, it makes sense. She's like one of the uh, top ranking heroes in the, in the verse. Huh? You do understand you're the one being tested, right? You've been looking down on me for a while. Don't you, don't you think it's a bit much? If I went all out. And Saitama is... Saitama is like, sure, go all out. Saitama does not care. He's like, go all out. Like, I'll, I'll prove you... I'll prove you wrong. All right. I need, needed some refresher there. So Tatsumaki, the hell is that? The lot from the Fubuki group over there seem a bit off. A dispute, maybe. Like, there's so many heroes and stuff. Like, this guy looks really cool with his, like, cyborg-looking stuff. Like, tag, the, the, the shades and stuff. Probably introduced in the earlier chapter or something, like, a while ago. And they expect us to remember this guy, which I don't. Come on, we're not even done questioning yet. With, with questioning yet. Needle Star, former Blizzard group member. What should we do? 
This bandage, he said. I had enough of this. I'm out. I joined up because they said even weak guys can have it easy if they join a faction. But this ain't worth it. I'm jumping out too. There's no way I can keep this up if the association keeps exposing their dark side and the S-Class keeps antagonizing us. Same. Why doesn't Lady Fubuki ever explain herself to us? We are always prepared to give her our absolute all, but isn't this a betrayal of our loyalty? Hold on, you guys. Are you seriously going to leave? How dare you blame Lady Fubuki for this? Stop it. It really isn't Lady Fubuki's fault, is it? The fact that it's come to this is because we are too weak and unreliable. Oh, snap. The voice of reason. Eyelashes, are you leaving too? Idiot, I'm going after Lady Fubuki. Anyone who wants to get stronger, come with me. Told ya, hunting for fresh meat should have been the last thing on your mind. Holy crap, this manga panel. We see Fubuki. We see a tornado. Rocks all levitating from the ground. This looking like the end of the world is about to happen. This is incredible. Wow, what amazing art. And then the debris from the rocks that are crashing into each other, literally crashing like meteorites on the ground. Big sister, you are you are going too far. All right. Wow, well, I shouldn't have come over to play. The elevator shut down and I can't go back home. And Mr. Saitama wasn't even here to begin with. Oh, I was right about the video game thing. Well, King was the one that was coming over to play video games. Why are you never around at times like these, Mr. Saitama? What? Oh, King, Mr. Saitama, did you come to play some matches? Game is fighting heroes. Sorry, maybe later. What are you doing? Uh, this pe pipsqueak called Tatsumaki or something is, uh, Mr. Tatsumaki is. I can hear you. Saitama is literally like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just just, just dealing with this pipsqueak. Her name's Tatsumaki or whatever. Like, not, not, nothing much. Like, this is not an S rank hero. Like, literally, top five easily. I think she's. Tatsumaki. Rank, rank two. She's the rank two hero. I can hear you, huh? Okay, so she's landing. She's landing. She's landing. So she lands, her dress goes up, and we see that she has underwear, right? In her chibi form. Okay, okay. Saw her panties, and then that's what King says. And that's the end of the chapter. This was a really fun chapter. This was, you know, a nice fighting chapter with comedy. We got to see Speedo Sonic again. We got to see King again. We see... Uh, Tatsumaki's, you know, what panties in the chapter in Saitama calling her a pipsqueak like he's not fighting the number two ranked hero. It's all good stuff. I really did enjoy the chapter. Um, one of my favorite chapters so far from this arc. Really, really, really good chapter. And I, I like the back and forth between uh, Tatsumaki and Saitama. I thought they were going to make up and stuff, go back to where they were, and just end the battle. And Saitama just wants to antagonize her a little further. Overall, I'll give this chapter a solid 8.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this one, and remember to have a great day. Peace.